Hey guys, what is up? It is Fortnite Figures, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Aurora after it has been disabled. Aurora is a Fortnite private server. This Fortnite server is only for visual purposes and educational purposes. What this program does is it gets you all of the skins, emotes, back blinks, pickaxes, wraps, music packs, and more in Fortnite. Once again, this is only for visual purposes. So basically, what you have to do is that this method is more complicated than the ones used in the past to get Aurora, because Epic Games has actually gone and deleted the method that they have used. So now we have to use another method to do it. So this involves having no.js, mango.db, and having a local host on your browser. So we are going to run this server off of a local host on your computer. A local host is basically running a website off your computer, but it is only temporarily. So once you close out of your command browser, you don't have access to the local host website anymore. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in around 15 minutes. So before we get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications. And also make sure to use my code 7 by 10 in the item shop to support me. So anyways, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to github.com. I'm going to link this in the description, by the way. So you're going to go on to GitHub, and you're going to go and look up Aurora Backend. You don't have to do this, but it's just going to be linked in the description. So once you look that up, this should pop up. And what it's going to say is this. Um, don't read any of this. All you're going to do is just click up here where it says code and click download zip. Should download right here. The next thing you want to do is just look up WinRAR. Most people have it, but if you don't have it, just look up WinRAR, download it. And what it does is, just, is it just like extracts zips. So install WinRAR and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go into the backend folder. And as you see right here, it should say backend master. And you can drag it to your desktop now. So let's go drag that right here. Now as you see, we have a folder called backend master. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is click new folder and make a new folder just called Aurora, like master. You can name it anything you want, but I'm just gonna name it that. And then move that into your folder. So now it should look like this should say backend master the next thing you're going to want to do is click backend master and go back up here now go back to the github page i just got out of it but it should be right here and now as you see it's going to say mango db so just click that this button right here and download mango db just click this where it says download right here um you can do yeah you can only do this on windows so just click download go through all the steps and then just download it after you install that go to nodejs.org and click this one right here the one that says lts links in description again by the way so download that go through all the steps and then you are done with node.js next thing i want to do is go once again into your backend master folder click up here where it says search and just type cmd click enter and now what you're going to want to do is type npm install what this is going to do is it's just going to install all of the files that you need so wait for it to install and it should say this next thing you're going to want to do is type in node space dot and if it says module not found, then you have done something wrong. So I'm going to show you what to do right now. See where it says configuration.json.template? You're just going to make it configuration.json. Click yes. And now go back to Aura Master. And now you're going to go and drag in the launcher. So I'm going to include the launcher in the description. But what the launcher is, is it is just like the actual launcher that launches um, Aura. So I'm going to go to my downloads and i'm going to go get the aurora launcher and what you're going to want to do is just drag both of these into your folder not into your backend master folder into this folder the next thing you're going to want to do is click new folder and just type in generator what this is going to do is it is going to generate all of the fortnite cosmetics into this so if you do not do this process then it will only have the um it will only have the items from like last season so if you want the latest items and leaked items you can just do this so open the generator folder and now what you're going to want to do is open up this it's called the generator um it's just a file I'll link it up in the description again so yeah just put that into the generator folder and now just pretty much open it um actually no you don't open it so once again click up here type cmd and now all you're gonna do is type um so once you do that you are going to type um node dot slash wait no this slash uh the slash it's that way and then type uh the file name so it is aurora slash generator click enter and then it should make two files so if it makes two files like that and you have successfully done it so yeah once again make sure that you have two files in here called cosmetics and variants 
and um once again just check if i edit it with notepad you don't have to do this but what this file is it is literally just every single item in fortnite um it is all the wraps all the emotes every single thing so this includes every single item in fortnite and this just puts it into it so as you see you have everything right here um so now what we're gonna want to do is copy both of these and now go back into your backend folder cache and now paste these in and remember to click replace the files you have to replace them so click replace and it should just do that and now what you're gonna want to do is go back to backend master click up here cmd enter and now type npm install and it should hopefully install it and now as it's gonna see if it says this then you've done it now what you're gonna do is type node space dot and it should say that if it says created by slush version 1.5 and make sure that it says connected to mango db um what you're gonna have to do is actually open mango db so what it is is it is this thing right here um this just runs the local host onto your computer so yeah just make sure that it's running make sure that it's in here this is mango db so just make it make it running make it in the background you know what i mean so just run it in the background and make sure that it says connected to mango db now minimize it and now what you're gonna want to do is go into your chrome browser and type localhost and click enter and now it should pop up on the aurora website if it does not go on this website please dm me because it should pop on this website um if you are on the website now what you're gonna want to do is click login and you're gonna go and click click here to make a new account now what you're gonna want to do is just make a new account with your email uh username and password what i usually do is i just look up 10 minute mail this is the easiest way to make an account so go into 10 minute mail i'll link this in the description just get one of these emails copy it to clipboard paste this in paste in the password that you want so i'm just gonna do test one two three four five you know what i'm just gonna do my own password so yeah let's put in that password and now let's just put in any name that we want so i am going to do um let's do test video one two three four five um so yeah make sure that all this information is correct and then click sign up If it does not sign up, then you've probably done it incorrectly. So yeah, once again, if it does not sign up, type localhost into your browser. And if it does not load, then you've done it incorrectly. So if you've done it incorrectly, all you're going to do is just get rid of it. And then type CMD, do the same thing, npm install, enter, wait for that to install, node dot. Now let's see if this works. Here we go. Now type localhost again and see if it goes on. And now it is on. So yeah, let's go make a new account and let's do that email. Let's put in our password and let's put in our username test test video one two three four five. Click sign up and now it should just sign up. And now what you're gonna want to do is do the same thing right here. Put in your email, put in your password, and it should just sign in. You know you've done it correctly if you go into your no dot file where it says that. And if it says created account with the ID, whatever that is. So yeah, you're just going to make sure that it says the account because you are actually running the server from your computer. So make sure that you have the account. And now if it if this pops up, then you've successfully done it. You can actually go and edit it real quick. So I'm just going to edit the amount of V-Bucks I have. I'm just going to edit the level to this. And now click update and it should just update your account. Now what you're going to want to do is go back into your folder, click Aurora Launcher, and make sure that the configuration file is in there. Uh, paste in your email, put in your password, and click Launch. Once again, you have to have Fortnite installed on the latest update for this to work. So install Fortnite, and then click Launch onto Aurora, and hopefully it will go on. Sometimes it takes a little bit. So let's wait until it goes on. Let's see if it works. So it is loading up Fortnite right now. And what this is right here is that this is actually showing every single thing it is to run the server. So this is actually getting everything to run Fortnite. So as you see, it says log for display. You don't really have to see this, but what this does is it just like starts Fortnite and it just runs the private server for you. So yeah, that is what it does. So I'm going to wait until it loads up. And it should load up into your account if everything goes correctly. So let's go see if we did it right. Let's go wait until it loads. Let's see if it loads. And... Still says loading for some reason. Still says loading. It shouldn't really take this long. Um, but I guess it is possible for it to take this long. 
Let's see if it's still loading. Hmm, I'm not sure why it's still loading, honestly. It should stop loading after a little bit. If this happens, I guess you can just launch it again. So close all the windows and just launch Aurora again. Um, so the launcher, just click launch. It should launch again. Once again, make sure that the um, local host is still on. So yeah, launch Fortnite again, and let's see if it launches. So yeah, let's see if Aurora launches. All right, and it is now working. So, wait for it to load up. And hopefully, if all goes well, it should load into the private launcher. So let's go see. Still set, oh, here we go. So now it is logging into the account. Let's go see what happens. As you see, we are now in, and it is going to say, sign in as test, or whatever your name is on. So yeah, it's going to say, sign in as your account. Make sure that that username is the same as the one it says up here. So it is test video 12345, and test video 12345. If that is correct, you can just click play. And now it should load into the private launcher. Um, if this pops up, don't worry, everything is fine. Make sure that you're in full screen or whatever. Click continue, and then just get, skip through this. You don't really need this. Um, so yeah. As you see, we're now in it. You have your V-Bucks, you have your level. Um, item shop is nothing, but you can just support me in Aurora if you want to. Um, for some reason, it says this, but yeah, um, if you want, you, nothing is in here except the locker. That's pretty much why we have this, but yeah, it has every skin, all the leak skins, every emote. It even has the new Galaxy Scout skin, which is really cool. Um, very clean skin actually so yeah once again you have all the skins and you even have dev skins too for example you have this one right here um this is like a hologram skin pretty much does nothing um you have all of these skins you have this weird candy man skin whatever it is um you have all of these galaxy skin infinity skin these dev skins marauder skins more marauder skins all these skins henchman skin all of these, all of these, just pretty cool. And you even have all the leaked emotes, including this thing, whatever, um, th this is a leak skin, and you also have this thing, whatever this is. Um, so I'm gonna go and just do this naked peely skin, so it's a pretty nice skin. You also have all the leaked emotes, like for example, the Out West emote, I can just click this. I'm actually gonna co get copyrighted, so I'm not gonna play that, but let's play this. So yeah, as you see, you have all of the leak skins, emotes, cosmetics, and you pretty much have everything in the game. So once again, if there is a new update, all you're just going to do is go back to the cosmetics page. Um, I mean the cosmetics timestamp, I should have it in the description, and just follow the cosmetics thing. Once again, how to do cosmetics, um, go back to the generator, click, um, go here, cmd, type node dot um, this slash, and then aurora slash generator. And then it should run it, and then I would put these in. Copy cosmetics and variants, go into back end, go into cache, and then paste that in here. Um, but yeah, and then after that, just load it, and you will have everything in the game, which is very, very cool. And you can even do this in the lobby too. So as you see right here, we have all the emotes there. And even if you want, you can do a Go Cat Go emote um, in the lobby. So yeah, let's put on Go Cat Go, and it looks very nice. Very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, you also have dev emotes too, like for example, this isn't released, this never been released, this, I don't know what that is, uh, but yeah, you have every single emote in the game, which is really, really cool. So yeah, um, by the way, this is a risk of a ban, well not really a ban, it's just, it's kind of a risk, I mean, Epic does not want you to do a private server, but if you're up to it, then you can go and do it, but yeah, that is how to run the Aurora private server. Um, after it has been deleted uh, on Epic Games requests. Um, by the way, there might be more updates of Aurora, so if there is a new update, go back to the GitHub right here. Go back to the back end. So yeah, just go back onto the GitHub, go back onto the back end, and then just click clone, download zip, 
and that's pretty much it if there is a new update i will let you guys know on twitter or instagram or whatever you guys follow me on uh, but yeah, make sure to use my code semi 10 item shop. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But yeah, that is how you run a private server now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.